Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Jay Sewell. Uh, we a little bit in less than 10 days away from the beginning of the new NBA season. I just want to take time out to, uh, you know, um, campaign a little bit, man, for AI, man, a.k.a. Allen Iverson, a.k.a. The Answer, the man that's up for the Hall of Fame this year. Um, no doubt, without a, without a shadow of a doubt, Allen Iverson should be in the Hall of Fame on the first ballot. This man always played hard, man. He left it all out on the floor. He never cheated the fans, man. I used to watch Allen Iverson when he had come play the Warriors. You know, at the Coliseum, I'm talking about when the Warriors was just god-awful, horrible. I mean, when they was winning, you know, 20, 25 games per year, man. I used to watch Allen Iverson sign more autographs than anybody on that team. Then again, he was the best player on the team, but that man used to always sign all all the autographs, try to sign as many as he could. I mean, actually, they would have to get him to stop signing autographs to come to the locker room, man. This dude was a real good dude, man. I know he ran into some a little bit of financial problems. Um, that usually happens to guys like him that come from a situation, you know, where he come from. I mean, if you've seen the special on him, how basically how the uh, people in uh, Hampton, Virginia did Allen Iverson, where they basically put the man in prison for nothing, basically, and how they went about doing it. The man that left the scene when the fight at the bowling alley had broke out, and what they did was they waited till he turned 18, waited six months after the fact that the fight had happened, and then they charged him as an adult, and they put him in jail. And for what that dude did to overcome that. And I mean, he was flat out pretty much framed by the police. They just falsely put a case on the dude. And for him to go through all that that hell he went through while he was in jail to get out, go to college, and make it into the NBA 11-time All-Star. Uh, over 20, 22,000 points scored. I mean, man. And, and, and to be honest with you, when Jordan retired for the, I don't know, I can't keep track of how many times Jordan retired. Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, uh, and Tim Duncan, they was the guys that kept the NBA going when Jordan retired. And Allen Iverson, whenever he came to your town, he was must-see. I mean, whenever the 76ers uh came on TV, man. I used to always watch Allen Iverson, man, the killer crossover, man. I mean, when you got people like, you know, in the streets at pickup games saying, you know, this, that Allen Iverson shit, that just shows you what an impact he had on the league. And I mean, this dude bought, bought swag and coolness to the league, you know, with the corn rolls, man. And, you know, you know, he was straight up hip hop as far as the NBA went a lot of people didn't like the fact but you know to me i was feeling Allen iverson the dude was on point man he was one of the best i had ever seen man and i'm serious man i got Allen iverson in my top 10 let's just hope politics don't get in the way of him going into the hall of fame on the first ballot but man if my man ticket listening to this man come on man i need you to roll with me on that man because uh we need to get that movement started man we just need to just go on some of these other channels and man and just you know push that movement because you know people listen to us man when we talk you know some of these voters and stuff but like i say man i hope my man alan iverson get into the hall of fame on the first ballot he deserved to be in the hall of fame on the first ballot He's a first ballot Hall of Famer, man. He had a big impact on the game. For what that dude could do at, at, I don't even think he was six feet, was just amazing. And, I mean, he could hold his own with the best of them. And not to mention, he took that, that sorry-ass Philadelphia 76ers team to the finals. Now, we all knew they didn't have no chance against the Lakers. But he got them to the finals, man. He single-handedly pretty much got that team to the finals, man. And like I said, that dude always played hard. I don't care about some of the outside shit that happened with him. That's beside the point. But anyway, man, I just want to put that out there, man. You know, I just want to give a shout-out to AI, man. I hope you get into the Hall of Fame. 
on the first ballot. I'm out.